Rejoice, children of God, for the day of salvation has come. From the world headquarters of the kingdom of Jesus Christ, in Davao City, Philippines, the nations are gathered as one. Lifting up the praises of the Father, proclaiming His wonderful works through His Son. In North America, in South America, in Asia, in Europe, in Africa, in Australia, to the four corners of the globe, through the Sunshine Media Network International, united in joyful celebration, faithful children of God, worshiping in spirit and in truth. Bringing glad tidings of the Father's salvation work completed in His Son. Let us come to the Father and bring before Him the sounds of worship. And as we come to the presence of the Almighty Father, let us sanctify our hearts, minds, and spirits as we offer up our thanksgiving and sanctification prayer.
the Almighty Father for the Father's great love and faithfulness towards us. Let's give all the glory, all the praise, all the honor and the thanksgiving to Almighty Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Creator of us all, and to His appointed Son, our beloved Pastor, Pastor Apollo C. Kibuloy, whom the Father has made, anointed and appointed to be the King of His new creation, His kingdom nation, His new Jerusalem, and to all the sons and daughters of the Almighty Father, whom He has given complete and permanent freedom from the serpent seed, now forever rejoicing for the fulfillment of the Scriptures is upon us, that it said, whom He did predestinate, them he called and those who he called them he justified and those who have justified them he also glorified and truly glorification is now upon us beginning with the appointed son of god one man from the fallen Adamic race who have finally triumphed and has overcome and has completed the father's critical work of salvation in man on april 13 2005 that marked the beginning of the day of the Lord and in the days of man and the total vanquishment of Satan and Lucifer the devil as the all power in heaven and in earth is now given to the Son so let us rejoice for the Father's kingdom nation is now established here on earth ruled not by the will of man but by the will of the Almighty Father who is in heaven let us rejoice us once again. We dedicate this global thanksgiving and worship presentation in honor of the Almighty Father through His Son. Honor His glory, His majesty for His great love, His faithfulness, His goodness and mercy towards us as we offer to Him our highest praise. And let's all together exalt the name of the Almighty Father forever. Hallelujah.
We praise, we glorify you, Almighty Father, for you have been with us all through the times, through your Son, through the flood, through the storm, through the water, the trials, through the persecution, accusation, and false report. But nevertheless, we are safe here in the holy city, the holy ground, your new Jerusalem, the water center of the globe. And as we praise and worship you, Almighty Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, the creator of all, through your appointed son, Pastor Apollo Sikibloy, we thank you, Almighty Father, for we know that you have done a great work, and without you, through your son, we can do nothing. And today, Almighty Father, as we praise and thank you, we know, Almighty Father, there is a great judgment all around us. There is calamities, there are wars, plagues, and viruses. Judgment all around. But we will remember, Almighty Father, that there is a God in heaven that rules in the affairs of men, that this is the day of the Lord, that they should recognize in the midst of the shaking in the heaven and earth, men's hearts will fail for fear, for seeing the things that are coming on the earth, for the powers of earth and heaven shall be shaken, but they shall see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. You sent your appointed Son, your covenant of compassion, of mercy, divine love, love beyond measure. Love is the perfect that will cast away fear and you will establish your new world, your new heaven, your new earth where your will is now being done with the fruits of the Spirit, your kingdom nation, your new Jerusalem, the ark of our salvation, populated by sons and daughters, with a new heart, with a new mind, with a new spirit, with the supreme laws of love, love, to love God, to love our neighbor, to love one another, to love even our enemy, that we will overcome evil with good and hate with love. And may the divine love, Almighty Father, fill the thousands gathered here in your new Jerusalem and the millions joining all over the world through this program, Sounds of Worship, being heard and seen by internet and sunshine radio. And may the complete package of blessings be upon them right now, Almighty Father, for those who have sorrow, who are lonely, who are depressed. May they feel your love right now, Almighty Father, and may that love change their life, change their spirit, bring blessings, healing, and salvation and enlightenment. The truth will be theirs, and the truth shall set them free. We praise, we glorify your holy name, Almighty Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Creator of all, through your appointed Son, Pastor Apollo Siki, will all you pray? Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Father. Let us continue to worship the Almighty Father by the reading of His holy words. Let us open our Bibles in the book of Psalms, chapter 96, verses 1 to 13. We will be reading this in a responsive manner. I, the first, you, the next, and in the last verse, we shall be reading it all together. If you are there, say, Praise the Father. Psalms 96. I will sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Declare His glory among the heathen, His wonders among all people. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Give unto the Lord, O ye kindreds of the people, give unto the Lord glory and strength. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before Him all the earth. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad and let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. All together, before the Lord, for He cometh, for He cometh to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with His truth. Praise the Father! Truly, my brothers and sisters, we are so much grateful for the unconditional love of the Almighty Father. It's the reason why we are all here today. Of all the blessings He has given, let us not miss this chance and privilege to praise His holy name. So my brothers and sisters, let's continue to shake the foundations as the kingdom musicians offer these joyful songs of praise. Praise the Father! I didn't come here to sing about the devil I came to praise 
the name of the Lord. I'm here to tell you, once I was a rebel, I've been delivered by the power of the word. That's why I'm Almighty Father, best hand clap offering, my brothers and sisters, with our best victory shout. Praise the Father. Thanksgiving belongs to the name of Almighty Father through His appointed Son, Pastor Apollo Sikibuloy, for we know that without the appointed Son, we can do nothing. My brothers and sisters, the world we live in is in chaos, and there is economic crisis everywhere, and it is only the corrupt that can survive. But we are grateful because here in the Father's Kingdom nation, there is never a crisis and blessings overflow because we are an honest nation. And the appointed Son of God, Pastor Apollo Siki Buloy, is our model. Amen? He teaches us to obey the will of the Almighty Father, especially when it comes to giving back our tithes and offering, for it is written in Malachi 3.10 and Luke 6.38. And as we do, the Almighty Father will give us the spirit of blessings, of abundance, and prosperity, destroying poverty in our lives. The appointed son also taught us that when we give back our tithes, that determines our honesty. And when we give back our offerings, that determines our blessings in life. That's why as loyal and honest sons and daughters of the Almighty Father, let us happily give back our tithes and offerings to the Almighty Father as the ushers come to our places and as the kingdom singers offer these wonderful songs of praise. Praise the Father.
sa pagpupuri at pagpapasalamat sa ating Bismillah Ama. Truly, we are so blessed and we are so thankful because we are fearfully and wonderfully made in the image and likeness of the Almighty Father through His appointed Son, now manifested in our midst. And we are so thankful that the sons and daughters, we look forward for that glorious day of the great in gathering, the glorification. Are you excited, my brothers and sisters? And as we do, we always do His perfect will and we only look to the Son and whatever happens in our lives, the Father is there always to hold us. Let's contemplate on the Father's great love towards us as we listen to these songs. change since the beginning of time each time I needed a hand to hold
and faithfulness towards us. That no matter how dark the circumstances may be, no matter how bleak the future looks like, but we trust and have faith in the Almighty Father because He is in control and the God that we're serving is a God that is able and no, and nothing is impossible with the Almighty Father. We thank the Father for His great love and His faithfulness towards us for giving us His appointed Son. And once again today, the Almighty Father has prepared for us a banquet of fat things. As once again, we will dine with the King. Because we are indeed blessed because we have our beloved pastor with us today. He's just an ordinary man like us. But he was called, he was chosen, he was anointed and appointed to become the Son of God in these last days. To feed us with a fresh manner of revelations and to personally bestow His blessing upon each and every one of us, sons and daughters of the Father all over the world, make way for the appointed Son of God, the King of the Father's new creation. His audible voice, His new heaven, His new earth, His temple, the one who holds the key to the new heaven, the judge of the living, the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except they go to the Son. Our beloved pastor, Pastor Apollo, seek the Lord. my 
good father. We give you the praise and the glory and the honor, hallelujah, for everything that you have done for us, for your fearing salvation for us, for giving us the revelation, the knowledge of the storyline of salvation from the Garden of Eden when you have created our first parents, Adam and Eve when you have given them the commandment, when the enemy came and deceived them, and thereby making a wall of sin between you and your creation. Father, you have not forgotten us because throughout human history, we find out that your love and compassion remains the same. Until the time that you have appointed a day in which you have sent your word who have become the begotten son to lead us back to the way, the truth, the life. Thank you, Father, for restoring unto us that fellowship and communion that have been lost in the Garden of Eden. Now we are here, the progeny of the first Adam in the physical and now being born again in the spirit of the second Adam, in the spirit, the spirit of obedience to your will, thereby fulfilling John 3, 5, except a man be born again in water and spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Thank you for that restoration gave us the power today to become your sons and daughters. As you have called an appointed son from the fallen Adamic race to be the model, to be the first fruit and the first product of that salvation that you have brought and you have paid it with your own physical life on the cross to be buried and then resurrected and to be alive forevermore. Now we are here today receiving that salvation of our soul. We are back into the restoration of that broken fellowship. And once again, we can call you our Father in heaven. Our Lord, our Savior, our King, our Judge, our Father. Thank you, Father, for that restoration brought us here today. For those six years in two mountains where you have isolated your son to continue that aborted plan of salvation or that aborted plan to become sons and daughters in the Garden of Eden in the Middle East, it has continued here in the Far East. And we are here today because your son was able to overcome the lures of the enemy the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Now we are standing before you as your spiritual children, sons and daughters, obeying you in the spirit. Thank you, Father, for you have implanted into our hearts the spirit of obedience, loyalty, commitment, and dedication to do your will only here on the earth, fulfilling your prayer. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Your heaven is now here on earth. The atmosphere of that heaven is now here on earth, which is what you want for your creation to be while dwelling here in this planet earth that you have created for us. Thank you that this knowledge of salvation given by revelation is now implanted in our hearts and in our minds and that you have replicated your sons not only by the hundreds but by the thousands, by the hundreds of thousands, by the millions uh, now living 
in them is the living word to the spirit fulfillment of John chapter 14 23 to 24 if you love me keep my commandments obey my words and I and my father will dwell in you and will make you our own abode thank you father for all these things that have been covered before are now illuminated into the light of that revelation of salvation through your appointed son and thank you father for you have sent me into all the world to preach the gospel of the kingdom of salvation through repentance now we are here joined by millions of your children in all countries of the world sentinels of light klc's all over the world through this broadcast are joining me today virtually joining us in worshiping you in spirit and in truth thank you father for all the victories thank you father for all the storms that came our way that made us more stronger than ever before that made us aware of your guidance of your protection and your miracles that once upon a time you have called the people for your name and you've shown them the miracles through the hands of moses the opening of the red sea the feeding of the millions through the manna that came from heaven now in the spiritual your new Moses is here in the Mosaic ministry to lead your people out of the bondage of Egypt, out of the bondage of Satan, Lucifer, the devil, to worship you in spirit and in truth and to have that freedom to worship you the way you wanted to be worshipped. Thank you, Father, that miracles upon miracles have come our way. And that you have guided us through the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. You've not left us alone. You were there because we are your people. You have called us out from darkness into your marvelous light. Thank you, Father, that once again I ask that all of your children, sons and daughters, be blessed today through the sounds of worship wherever they are joining me virtually. The same blessings that we receive here will be the same blessings that they will be receiving wherever they are. Physical healing, financial blessings that comes from you, and most especially, salvation for our soul. Bless all the newcomers. Bless all the sympathizers. Bless all those who for the first time are tuning in to this broadcast. May they receive the answer to all of their prayers. Father, we by faith declare a decree that all of those who are joining me today will receive multiple miracles in their lives. Bless your revelation, bless your man of revelation, bless your word, and bless all of your people wherever they are. In the name of our Almighty Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, to Him be the glory forever and ever and ever. Amen and amen. Let's give Him one big hand club offering, my brothers and sisters. Are you happy today? Yes. If you are, look at your neighbor and say, Brothers and sisters, may the Father's blessings be upon you. Praise the Father. You may be seated, my brothers and sisters. Praise the Father Almighty. Once again, I would like to welcome all children, sons and daughters of the Sentinels of Light of the KLCs all over the world that are joining us in the Sounds of Worship broadcast today. 
the Father's blessings be upon all of the children, sons, and daughters of the Father Almighty. We have been very excited of all the uh, happenings in the Kingdom Nation. And uh, we also thank the Father for all the uh, guidance, the protection, and uh, the uh, power of the miracle that led us through every storm that the Kingdom uh, ship has gone through these uh, tumultuous waters in this world today and we thank the father that he is our captain of the ship and we are his children who he has saved from the power of the enemy by that he came and gave his life went to the cross by his words that said Greater love hath no man than this, that a man will lay down his life for his friends. And we thank the Father that the joy, the peace, the love, the kindness, the goodness, the long-suffering, the faith, the fruits of the Spirit remains fruitful in our lives, remains to be in abundance in our lives, no matter what happens so that we as a people whom he has separated from the world of sin have been given the power to become sons and daughters of the Father Almighty through the extraction of the serpent seed of disobedience to his will and giving us that no spirit is the biggest, greatest, miracle of all time and now we are restored back to that fellowship with the father that we don't call him only our lord our king but we call him our father so we thank the father for that message of salvation that have come across the world today and uh, we are uh, engaged in this three kingdom revolution the spiritual revolution the changing of the spirit within that has been implanted in us and the enthroning of the spirit of obedience to the father's will that is the greatest miracle and this is the crux of the kingdom message this is the very very root of the kingdom salvation message to all humanity without that anything that we do is in vain that's why he said what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and then lose his soul nothing that we have done in this material world in this material physical world is going to be rewarded if there is no salvation of the soul and if there is no salvation of the soul why are we here why are we doing all of this is it for the glory of man it doesn't have to be because that is not the purpose why we are here it's for the glory of the father and we are the ones giving him that glory that's why everything we do now counts everything that we do here is written everything that we do here will have a reward and in the last days when the books will be open the word of god says every man will be rewarded according to their works so everything we do is of importance because we are going there to receive a reward we are not going there to be judged in order to go to eternal damnation. We are here today because that salvation that has been given to us as a peculiar people, as a royal priesthood, is not only a diadem, a gem, a diamond, a gold, 
It's everything. It is eternal. It is being with the Father for all eternity. So we cherish that and uh, nobody should be able to take that crown away from you. Lahat ng ginagawa natin dito, walang kabuluhan kung wala kang kaligtasan. Why? Because everybody will one day, without glorification, will go to the grave. And where you, your soul will be is the question. That's why I am here and my message is relevant today. So we thank the Father for that. How many of you wanted to see Abraham there? How many of you wanted to see Paul the Apostle there? How many of you wanted to see all the Apostles there? You know how they went there? They laid down their lives. They were killed for their faith. Paul was beheaded. Peter the Apostle was crucified upside down. Many of the apostles were thrown into a vat of boiling oil. Some of them were torn apart by horses tied to them running on opposite directions. But they remained steadfast. They did not backslide. They did not become traitors. They were offered everything. They were bribed by their tormentors who are the most powerful at the time. If you will just deny Jesus Christ, uh, you will be free and we will make you uh, 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 a citizen of Rome. If you will just deny him, you will be free. Now you are a slave. But if you deny Jesus Christ, you will be free. We will give you citizenship. In Rome, when you are a citizen, you are free. They did not relent to that. If I have 1,000 lives more, I will still offer them to him. But I will not backslide. I will not deny him. I will not be a traitor to my faith. That's how it goes. So you who wants to go to heaven, kayong gusto pumunta ng langit, Yung mga apostoles na yan ang makikita niyo ron. Yung mga propeta na yan ang makikita niyo ron. During the reign of the Roman emperors in Rome, for three, more than 300 years, the followers of Jesus Christ were persecuted. How did they persecute them? They did not only persecute them verbally, they persecuted them by killing them. They will be gathered around, they will be arrested wherever they are, and then brought to the uh, Colosseum. And uh, the execution uh, starts from uh, dawn in the morning until deep at night. The executioner is there just to cut the heads off, just to behead them. That uh, after a few hours, the executioner had to be relieved because he cannot put up his hand anymore and carry that sword in his hand to behave another one. He, he becomes so tired and, and, and the sword in his hand becomes so slippery with the blood that he has to be relieved for 300 years. And the Roman emperors or pagans thought that they can decimate and scatter and put to note the fate of the followers of Jesus Christ that they would denounce him because of what they are doing. But the opposite happened. The more that they multiplied the more that their faith was kindled. That's why the followers of Jesus Christ were scattered in Rome and they multiplied and they went around the Roman Empire and they 
where uh, there, there was like a wildfire of growth and multiplication of the followers of Jesus Christ. No matter how they killed them. You know, Nero, one of the uh, most brutal of the emperors of Rome, wanted to blame the followers of Jesus Christ so that uh, when Rome was uh, waning and uh, the empire was losing steam, uh, he wanted to misdirect the attention of the citizens of Rome. So the blame would not be put on the emperor. You know what he did? He burnt Rome. And then he blamed the, the Christians, they call them, the followers of Jesus Christ. I don't want to call them Christians because the Christians of today that I know are not obedient to the will of the Father. Instead, they, they even, you know, uh, turn the word of God upside down. So I, I call them followers of Jesus Christ, just like us. Followers of his words, the original ones. So what he did is round them up all over Rome. Round up all the followers of Jesus Christ, whom they called Christians at the time. And you know what he did? He made them lump posts. He made lump posts out of them. Instead of posts with lights, he put them up on posts, on lampposts along the road. And he put oil upon them and made them burn to lighten up Rome at night. Silang ginawang ilaw. Nasusunog. That's how they died. They never, never backslid. They never, never wanted their freedom promised to them if they would just denounce Jesus Christ. They're all in heaven now. Sometimes they will be rounded up, put in the middle of uh, the Coliseum and then they would let loose wild animals lions, tigers and uh, carnivorous wild animals that have not eaten for about a month they would let them loose and those followers of Jesus Christ and their families together with children will be in the middle of the Coliseum and these wild animals would just go there and uh, tear them to pieces and eat them up alive. But they were singing hymns of praise to the Lord in the middle of that. Yan ang makikita ninyo sa langit. Yeah, yung mga lukewarm na tagasunod ni Jesus Christ, you think you're going there? You are not. Oh. To those who have been persecuted right now in the midst of uh, this wicked world and you stayed faithful like the appointed son, just like uh, what I have told you last November, you know, I saw angels writing your names in the book of life. Pati na mga hindi kasama sa bansang kaharian, pero mahal ang anak. Nagdepensa sila sa anak. Naku, sinusulat ang kanilang pangalan sa aklat ng buhay. Pinatatawad ang kanilang mga kasalanan at isinusulat ang kanilang pangalan sa aklat ng buhay. Those who have stayed with me for all of these decades, 40 years, 30 years, it so happened that some of the pages of the Book of Life are made of pure gold.
gold. And only one name is written there. Ganon kay special kayong mga nakisama sa akin for all of these years. And I've never heard one word of doubt. I never heard one word of complaint. I never heard one word of murmuring. I never heard one word of negativity coming out of your mouth. That's why I asked the Father. Why are there some pages that are made of gold? Then the Father categorized it to me. These are days who are so special in the ministry of the appointed son. Wala kong narinig sa kanila mula't mula pa na sila ay nagalinlangan. Kasi itong paglilingkod ko from the very beginning, even in Tamayong, I, I, I began... Uh, this ministry by the baptism of fire. Grabbing persecution. I was only one. I'm all alone in that mountain. But I was already hated and persecuted by Satan, Lucifer, the devil, because he knew the plan of God, that he would restore humanity to himself. He would restore the broken fellowship. And he need another one from the fallen Adamic race to do that. That's why he sent his word who became the begotten son to lead us to that way. That's why Jesus Christ, the word made flesh, is the way, is the truth, and is the life. And whoever will follow him will become a model, an example for the fallen Adamic race. Many were given the chance. All the religion that they call themselves Christians, they were given the chance to become the appointed son like me. But they started with a good intention and purpose. But the Father, when He chooses you, He does not take away from you your freedom of choice. He will just say, this is my will. If you want to follow it, follow it. If you want to reject it, reject it. So at the beginning, probably they followed him. But, you know, Satan, Lucifer, the devil, is the greatest basketball player of all. In the beginning, you may be looking like you're an expert in basketball and you are a good dribbler, you are a good player. But the devil is not faced by that. He is unfaced by your beginnings. It is in the middle and in the end that he will really put the pressure on you. Yung pagpasimula, that's why many have begun mainit. Wow, grabe, on fire. Pero sa kalagitnaan, they begin to weaken. Trials here, trials there. Negative fire on the outside. Positive fire in the inside. You were able to overcome the negative fire being thrown at you from the outside. Persecution and many things. But many have not passed and overcame the positive fire inside of discipline, correction, instruction, chastisement. They were offended. They were offended. So your faith had to be like Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. Whether our God saves us or not, we will not bow down to your idols, O King. That is how you will go to heaven. That's how we are going to see you in heaven. Amen. So the life in the kingdom is a life of discipline. Everybody says it's a life of discipline. What is a life of discipline? It is a life that is 
trudging or or walking on the narrow way. It is a life that walks on the narrow way and enter into the straight gate. That's a disciplined life. A disciplined life of obedience. Not only for one day, but for all of your physical life. A discipline of obedience, a discipline of commitment, a discipline of dedication, a discipline of loyalty, to follow His Word, to follow and obey His will, no matter what. And it doesn't have to go down or up any time of your life. You have to always follow that straight, righteous path. Don't go to the left, don't go to the right, just follow and go to that straight path towards your maturity. That is a disciplined life. When you lose that disciplined life, you become disobedient. You go to the left. You become uncommitted. You go to the right. You become undedicated. You become disloyal. You become a traitor. You are out of the straight path and the straight gate and the narrow way going to heaven. And many have lost their way. Question is, have you lost your way? Do not lose your way. That is the holy way. Holy way. That is the kingdom high way. That is the kingdom high way. I call it KSW. Have you lost your way to the KSW? You gotten a shortcut, you forgot your dedication, you were bribed, you became a traitor. You became a disobedient. You went back to the old ways of the world of the serpent seed. If you have done that, you've lost your way. I am the way. Hindi ako nagmaliw. 48 years na kung anointed ng ating dakilang ama. 48 years, never weakened, never diverted out of the way, never gone to the right, to the left. You always go right straight to the way of disciplined life, of obedience, of commitment, of loyalty, and dedication of the Father's will. You always go that way. Kahit anong mangyari, huwag kang aalis. Nandyan sa kabila ang malapad na daan. The Broadway. Anong maririnig mo sa Broadway? Mga awit ng sanlibutan. Mga luho ng sanlibutan. Marami ngayon ang pumunta sa Broadway. Tapos kayong mga disiplinado na dumadaan sa makitid at makipot na daan, tinetempa kayo nila. Malis na kayo dyan. Ang hirap ng buhay nyo dyan. Slave kayo dyan. Malis kayo dyan. Dito kami, oh. Libre kami dito. Malaya kami. Paparty-party kami dito. Nagsasayaw, sayaw, sayaw. Sayaw, sayaw sa impyerno. <laughs> Let's read that scripture. Hanapin natin ang makipot na daan. Apo Pastor, sa Tagalog, kayo'y magsipasok sa makipot na pintuan sapagkat maluwang ang pintuan at malapad ang daang patungo sa pagkapahamak at marami ang dooy nagsisipasok. Sapagkat makipot ang pintuan 
at makitid ang daang patungo sa buhay mm. at kakaunti ang nangakakasumpong noon. Oh. Inano niyo yan? Kayo'y magsipasok sa makipot na pintuan sapagkat maluwang ang pintuan at malapad ang daang patungo sa pagkapahamak at marami ang dooy nagsisipasok sapagkat makipot ang pintuan at makitid ang daang patungo sa buhay at kakaunti ang nangakasumpong noon. Makipot at makitid kung hindi ka disiplinado, hindi ka papasok dyan. Kung marami kang bagahe, hindi ka papasok dyan. That's why the kingdom life is a life of discipline. When I say discipline, it means your total dedication to Your total repentance, your total obedience, your total commitment, and your total loyalty to follow and obey the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, of our God Almighty. That is a life of discipline. Every day, every hour, every minute. For 48 years that I was anointed, I never diverted out of the way. Follow me. Follow me. Ay, makitid ang daan eh. At tingnan ninyo, napakakitid ng daan. Lahat ng persecution tatanggapin natin. Lahat ng pangako sa tatanggapin natin. Oh, pero gusto ninyong walang akusasyon, walang persecution, walang kahirapan, maluwang ang daan. Doon, libre lahat. Libre porno. Libre lahat. Gawin mo. Lalo na ngayong panahon na to. Kaya napakasama na ng sandibutang ito. Ano ang lalong nagpasama sa sandibutang ito? Yung gadget na nasa inyong kamay. Kayong mga mahihina sa espiritu. Gusto inyong lumakas kayo? Kayong mahina sa disiplina ng pagsusunod. Gusto niyong lumakas kayo? You want to really be strong like me? Kayong up and down ng inyong paglilingkod? Kayong hindi pa naging spiritual hanggang ngayon? Gusto ninyong maging spiritual? Gusto ninyong maging malakas? Katulad ko, uh, ako nag-i-cuse doon sa mga medyo mahina na pag dumating ang kapagsubukan, tumitiklop. When trials and temptation comes, when the storms of life comes, tumitiklop ka. Ikaw ang kinakausap ko ngayon. Gusto ka bang lumakas? Gusto kang lumakas? Kailangan lumakas ka talaga bago ikaw ay maging anak. Gusto mo? Ang paraan para maging malakas sa panahong itong moderno, itapon mong cellphone mo. Take away that gadget out of your hand. If you don't know how to use that cellphone in your hand and it weakens you because that is the gadget of the devil if you don't know how to use it. That is the tree of life. Uh, that is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. It's all there. In one of the surveys, the porno capital of the world is the Philippines. According to survey, just imagine Just a while ago, we were the texting capital of the world. And now, we have another award. We are the porno capital of the world. Surprisingly, many of those that watch this porno are from the Philippines. And surprisingly, majority are women. Mga girls. 
mga babae ang nanonood ng porno. Survey yan. What happened? Mahina kayo sa temptasyon ng kaaway. Pag hindi mo kay kayang dalhin yung cellphone mo, ibaon mo. Punta ka ng samal doon sa ating ano, sa ating compound doon, itapon mo doon sa dagat. O kaya, kumuha ka ng maso, masuhin mo yan. Because everything now is private. Doon ka sa kwarto mo. Eh mabuti pa nung mga 80s, 90s, we have the MT MTRCB, wala pang masyadong cellphone, everything that is shown on television is regulated. Pag nagmalaswa-laswa ka dyan, tawagan ka kagad ng MTRCB, alisin mo yung programa mong yan, kundi puputulin namin, o kaya you will pay a fine. Now, everything is open even to children. Children. Children have become evil in these last days. Minors have become evil in these last days. There are many children who have become evil because of their gadgets na even a child is able to afford. To look. Bayad ka lang ng Wi-Fi, 50 pesos. You can go to a corner and watch all the porno you want. It happens in JMC. When you go to the classroom, you have to deposit your cell phone. If you open the cell phone, 100%. Those kids from elementary school are watching porno. This has polluted the mind of the world that the world has become so wicked. And you expect to live a disciplined life in this undisciplined world. In the midst of it, you have to maintain your dedication, your repentance, your commitment. You have to maintain your loyalty to do the Father's work. And besides that, Everything is so easy to access. Everything is so easy to access. You can access the internet just like that. That's why parents, if you want your child to grow up morally and not become evil, take that cell phone out of their hand. Kingdom citizens, if you don't know how to use that gadget, throw it. O sakin ninyo yan. It's better for you not to have a cell phone and go to heaven than to have gadgets all over your pockets, four of them, and go to hell. Amen? Mm. Follow my example. I am the strongest of all of you. I don't use cell phone because I was victimized once that I thought I had an assistant whom I thought was really an assistant pero nagbalat kayo lang pala. Yung gadget ko, yung aking tablet, inopen niya. Inopen niya sa porno. E nakarecord yan historically. Akala mo akong nanood. Tingnan mo, pagwawalang hiya. Ako, ako mismo, wait na lang hiya. Why I'm saying this? Kasi nakita ko eh. As old as, 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 as young as 12 years old to 13 years old, your child can become a devil. A boy or a girl can become a devil because of gadgets. They become evil. They will know everything. Oh, baka baligta rin ka pa. So we, here, when you live here, I will impose discipline life because that is what we are. We follow the commandments of the Lord Jesus Christ. Follow the straight way, the narrow way. Enter into the narrow way. Oh, straight 
uh, walk on the narrow way, get into the straight gate. So I have to maintain you as my flock to follow that disciplined way. But unfortunately, when I do that, and some of them, they came and they don't want that. They are not worthy of heaven. They come out and they accuse me. And they invert the story. Ako pa yung ginagawang masama ngayon. Ako pa yung may kasalanan ngayon. Dahil ayaw nilang magbago. Kaya na backslide. Kasi gusto nilang gawin lohat doon sa labas ang gusto nilang gawin. Oh. JMC. Papayagan ko ba ang worker na nag-aaral dyan para maging mga prostitute? Papayagan ko? Hindi, hindi maaari yun. O, oh, manatili kayo kahit saan pa kayo. Paaralan, trabaho, bahay, you maintain the disciplined way of the straight highway to heaven. Kingdom Highway is makitid, makipot. Read that in English, please. Matthew chapter 7, verse 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way, that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. 14. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Just imagine... You follow these words in a world that we are living in today where everything, evil and good, have already mixed and you don't know what is evil, what is good because evil has become good and good has become evil and we are living in the midst of this sin-sick, perverted world and you want to go straight and you want to walk in the straight gate because that is... Those are the words that will judge us in the last days. Those are the words. Don't lose your way. It's only the words of Jesus Christ that will judge us in the last days. Napakahirap maging pastor ngayon. Na sumusunod sa kalooban ng dakila ka ba? Napakahirap. Gusto niyo maging madali ang pagiging pastor ngayon? Huwag mo sundin yan. Basta mag, mag-preach ka lang sa kanila. Oh, kayo, pinagpala ng ama. Magiging ano kayo. Okay kayo dyan, ha? Member ko kayo. Okay lang kayo. Pupunta kayo ng langit lahat. Basta member lang kayo dito. Okay kayo? Oh. Pagkatapos yung pastor, butas-butas ang pantalon, nakamaon. Tapos nakatsaleko. O, oh. oh, follow me. Ganun talaga simple. Mahal tayo ni Lord. Pero walang tinuturong word of God ni Jesus Christ. Mahal tayo ni Lord. Basta nagpupuri tayo sa kanya, nagawit. I love you, Lord. I love you. Pero hindi nituro yung mga salita ni Lord. They don't teach the name. Uh, they don't teach the word of the Lord which are the most important if you want to go and meet Paul the Apostle and Peter, the Apostle in heaven and all of those that went ahead of us. Because the bottom line is when we all die and face him in judgment, these words are the words that will be the instrument of judgment. Yan. Napakahirap sundin yan ngayon. Broad is the way that lead it to destruction and many go in the rat. Oh, majority of them go there. You walk a straight gate. You walk in the straight way and follow the, and enter into the straight gate. You become lonely. You become isolated. You become ostracized by society. They will even they will even say you're crazy. They would even say, why are you doing that? And they would even persecute you. They would even accuse you so that you can lose your way. Yan ang sinasabi ko sa mga panahong ito. 
Huwag kayong mawala sa daan. You know, mga kapatid, uh, sinabi ng ating nakilang ama, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God shall man live. Kumakain tayo ng word of God. Alam mong kinakain mo? Siyang magiging buhay mo. Kumakain ka ng porno? Yan ang magiging buhay mo. Yan ang magiging utak mo. Kasi magkakaroon ka ng information dito. Tapos, ang information na yan, it will become a memory to your body. It's not only the brain that has the memory. Your body has a memory. Just imagine, your genetics comes from your parents. And their genetics come from their parents. And their parents' parents' genetics come from their parents. Until you end up in your family tree about 10 or 15 generations ahead or past. And if you can only have the picture of your ancestors 15 generations down, You look at their faces, they look like you. Why? Because that memory is in that DNA. Yung DNA, kita nyo sa science yung gumaganon? That's your DNA. Biro mo. Napakalit na bagay niyan. When a, 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 a man is married to a woman, the woman's sperm is deposited into the woman's womb. You know that, that, that sperm? It's, it's protein. It's nothing. It, it looks like nothing. It's protein. But all the memory of your genetics is all there. That's why when you come out and you become a human being, ang ilong ng tatay mo, Mata ng nanay mo. Nandyan sa iyo. Kamukhang kamukha mo. Galing lang yun sa maliit na seed. Nandun na lahat memory mo. Kaya nakadeposito yan sa katawan mo. Kaya pagkakubuha ka sila DNA, kahit konti lang kunin nila, alam na nila kung anong DNA mo ng Parents mo, kung galing ka ba sa kanila, if you came from them, they will know. Kaya, magingat kayo sa kinakain nyo. Kasi yung flesh na kinakain nyo, may memory din yun. Tulad ng baboy, yung flesh ng baboy, bakit naging baboy siya? bago siya naging baboy, yung baboy na nanay at baboy na tatay, <laughs> nagkita. Ano lang yung dineposito ng butakal na baboy sa nanay? Di ba nakita ninyo? Parang wala lang, di ba? Pero nandoon ang genetics ng baboy na yon. Kaya nung lumabas, ang ilong baboy, ang tenga baboy, ang buka baboy, Mag-iingat kayo sa pagkain ng baboy. Kaya alam ko yung palakain ng baboy eh. Mukhang baboy. Kasi mag-i-incorporate yan sa iyong genetics. I-incorporate yan. Kaya pagka sinunod niyo ako, magiging vegetarian na kayo ngayon. <laughs> Amen. May memory yun, mga kapatid. May memory yun. The information comes to your brain, but the memory remains with your body. I'm saying this so that I can transfer you to the spiritual that we have. So anong pagkain ng mga anak ng Diyos? Sinabi ng Word of God, Man shall not live by bread alone, 
but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. So when you read the word of God or listen to the word of God, the information comes to your brain. When you digest and receive it, it will incorporate in your spiritual life that will come out in your attitude, in your character. Your character becomes spiritual. That's why the fruits of the Spirit are the information laid upon our brain, our spirit, so that when you receive them and you digest them, they become you. Exactly. That is how to become holy. That is how to become when you live a spiritual life. And, and, and the fruits of that will come out, which are the fruits of the Spirit. You will be full of joy, peace, love, kindness, goodness, meekness, long-suffering. See? People today don't know that. They watch porno as if it is their daily food. They watch violence on TV and, 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 and movies and internet as if it is just natural to them. They don't know that their minds is being bombarded with information that are very inimical to your soul. Very inimical. Nakakasira ng kaluluwa. So information na yun, pasok ng pasok sa iyo. Then kinakain mo until you become violent yourself because it is violence that have rejuvenated in your system and it became you. Bakit marami sa Amerika ngayon, mga bata, pupunta ng paralan tapos raratratin yung mga kasamahan nila? It's just natural for them to do that because they've been fed that on the internet. Kaya, if you have children playing violent games, stop them. When they grow up, violence will be in their system, in their blood, in their memory, and they will just do it because it's natural for them to do that. It, is, it becomes them. Kita ninyo, kung nung kinakain ninyo, anong tinitingnan ninyo, it becomes information and then you receive that and you digest that, it goes into the memory of your body system. Kung anong kinakain mo, yung magiging ikaw. Di ba may sayings na you are what you eat? <laughs> Amen. Tinay niyo ang palaging kumakain ng litson. Mukhang litson ng mukha. <laughs> Tapos sasabihin mo, yun pa lang kumakain ng manok, pastor. Kaya yung iba, kumakain ng ahas. Huwag uh-huh. kayong kumain ng sawa. Magiging sawa yung ugali nyo. Oh, bala na kayo kung anong kainin nyo. Nasa sa inyo yan. Kung mag- mag- magmukha kayong baboy, basta yung espiritu ninyo ngayon ang pinag-uusapan, kain kayo ng Word of God. Don't forget to eat the Word of God daily. Before you go to sleep, before you, when you wake up, eat of the Word of God. Listen to my message. Listen to the message of the appointed. Eat of the Word of God. Always. That's why some of you are spiritually weak because you don't eat of the Word. You don't eat of the Word. Hindi kayo nakikinig. Nakikinig pero hindi tinatanggap. Tapos manood ka ng porno. Aba, napakaganda. Excited na excited. Magtatago pa. Maglalak. Oh. Ano ang resulta? 
Buhay na buhay ang karnal mo. Patay na patay ang spiritual. Hmm. Dapat, kung di man pantay yan, luwalagpas ang spiritual mo. So, when trials and temptation comes, when the storm blew upon you, uh, blow upon you, you will be able to stand. Because there is the Word of God that strengthens you. You become spiritually strong. Hallelujah. Marami nagsasabi sa akin na may kaibigan akong bago lang bumisita sa akin, sabi niya, Pastor, kung yung pinagdadaanan mo, yan ang dadaanan, mamamatay na siguro ako, Pastor. Sabi ko, uh, naintindihan kita. Kailangan, sabi niya, paano mo nakakayanan ng mga bagyo ng iyong buhay? Sabi ko, kaibigan, malakas ang sinusunod ko. Siguro, Pastor, kung akong nagdadaan sa pinagdadaanan mo, hindi na siguro ako makatulog, mamamatay na siguro ako. Sabi niya, bakit ikaw nakakayanan mo at saka at ang lakas mo at saka pinapalakas mo pa yung iba? At saka sinabi ng mga kay, ka, 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 kasama mo riyan na ang lakas mo daw maghilik, maghagok. Yes, you ask. <laughs> Pagtugpa daw na ako sa akong unlan, hagok rin. <laughs> Nga no? Gikan sa akong ulo, ngadto sa akong lapalapa, Word of God. Word of God. <laughs> oh. Word of God. Ang bagyo na samot kabatas ko ah. Oh, what did he say in Matthew 7.24? Basahin mo anong sinasabi niya. Sa 24 po, Pastor. Hmm. Kaya't ang bawat dumirinig ng aking mga salitang ito at ginaganap ay matutulad sa isang taong matalino hmm. na itinayo ang kanyang bahay sa ibabaw ng bato. Yan, pagkain ko yan. Yan. Pag dinirinig mo ang salita, kinakain mo, ginaganap mo, pag ginanap mo, it's a part of you. Because you cannot do something which is not a part of you. You must listen and becomes, and that, that word should become a part of you by obedience. Sundin mo. Pag sinunod mo yan, lifestyle mo na yan. Oh. Magiging buhay mo na yan. O dumirinig, gumaganap, ah, matalino. Kaya sino ba naman ang nagsabing hindi matalino? CPACQ. Hmm. Di ba? Oh. Hindi ako B.O.B.O. <laughs> hmm. Bakit ako matalino? Sapagkat dumirinig at ginaganap. Patuloy mo. 25, Pastor. At lumagpak ang ulan at oh. bumaha. Lumagpak ang ulan. Ano yung ulan? Ulan ng kapagsubukan. Amen? O, oh. lumagpak ang ulan at bumaha pa. Ba? Katakot-takot yan. Bumaha. Oh. Lumagpak ang ulan Bumaha. Kita mo yung pagkabumaha ngayon? Daming namamatay. Oh, humihip ang mga hangin. Hangin ng bagyo, pagsulay. Oh, at hinampas. Hindi nilang kay Giyagian. Hinampas. Oh, saan si hinampas? <laughs> at hinampas. Ang bahay na yaon, ikaw yun, yung tao yun, ang bahay ng Diyos, hinampas. Hinampas yaon. Kita mong paghampas sa akin, di basta-basta, di ba? 
Hmm. Oh, di lang sa Pilipinas, abroad pa. Lakas ng bagyo, pak! Hinampas! At hindi nabagsak. Ah, kita nyo? Hindi nabagsak. Hmm. Sabi ng ulan at baha, Uy, ligon man? <laughs> Unya ni ni agi na po ang hangin, ang hangin ka ng mga tornado. Uy, wa man na unsa. Oh, kita na ang hangin nagasulti na. Hmm. At hindi na bagsak sapagkat natatayo sa ibabaw ng bato. Ano yung batong yon mga kapatid? Yon ang bato ng pagsusunod. Pagsusunod, pagsusunod. Ano man ang mangyari, hindi ka na natatakot. Pagka sumusunod ka lang, hindi ka matakot na matay. Hindi ka matakot na mapahiya, pahiya ka ng tao, patawanan mo lang sila. They will destroy your reputation. Katawa lang ka. Because you're not afraid of anything. You're not afraid of anything when you're obedient, when you're walking that disciplined way of the narrow road and the straight gate, you are not afraid of anything. Because anything in this world is just temporary. Look at the apostles. Are they afraid to die? No. no. Were they afraid to go to jail? No. Were they afraid that their reputation would go to tatters? No. Why? Because they have As the way, the truth, and the life, Jesus Christ, who went to the cross. Grabe. Yun ang ating modelo. He went to the cross. Ngayon, parang went to the cross, parang inaawit na lang natin. But go to the reality on the ground. Nung siya hinuli na. Hinuli. Hinalikan siya ni Judas. Dito. Ang palatandaang siya yun, hinuli ng mga sundalong Romano at kasabwat ng mga religyoso. So, ano, political ito at religious, ha? Nagsama. Mm, hinuli siya. Kinadinahan. Mm. Di ba kung ikaw nabubuhay ng mga panahong yun, ang hirap tingnan nun, di ba? E kriminal lang ang ginaganoon eh. Bakit? Kriminal ba si Jesus Christ? Hindi. Ayaw ni Satanas sa mga namumuhay na matuwid, na nasa matuwid na daan. Siya ang daan. Tapos, dinala. Anong ginawa? Hinarap. Pagkatapos, hinuli. At pagkatapos, dinala kay Pilato. Ayaw ng mga, ano, mga hudyo na bitiwan siya after na pinarusahan muna siya. Sabi ni Pilato, Sino ang bibitiwan ko? Itong tulisan na si Barabas? O siya, oh, sigaw ng tao, siya, siya, kung social media pa yun. Naku, tadan, basing kay Jesus Christ. Huwag idapig niya, bisa no sa. May karoon kay Nanay SMNI. Sige kong tanaw sa Passion of the Christ, sige kong tanaw na, sige kong pinanunod kong Passion of the Christ. Sabi ko kung may SMNI lang noon, may magtatanggol sa ating Panginoon. <laughs> Praise the Father. Pero nag-iisa lang siya. Just imagine, all the throng are against him. Nag-iisa lang siya. 
wala siyang kakampi doon. Yung mga iilan-ilan yung apostoles na takot. Nagsitakbuhan. Nag-deny pa nga si Peter, di ba? Mm. Katapos, hinatulan siya. Dinala sa Pilate's scourging post. Kita niyo yung Passion of the Christ? Paano siya pinahiga ng ganun? Hinampas siya sa likod? Physically yan. Literally, flesh and blood come off with that whip because it's made of broken iron and then there's a hook at the tip na pag hinila mo yan, flesh and skin comes up with it. Grabe. There he is. Itong sini na to, ito ang pinaka pinaka real na, na depiction of what happened 2,000 years ago. Siyang sinusulod natin. Lahat, hinampas siya, lahat ng parte ng kanyang katawan. Ganyan, ang dinanas ng ating dakilang ama na word made flesh. Look how people treated him. Buti na lang ngayon, may human rights eh. Noon, walang human rights. Yung mga nagkaka-human rights ngayon, tingnan ninyo. Oh. Walang kasalanan yan. May kasalanan ba si Jesus Christ? Wala. Pero bakit siya ginan yan? Bakit ginawa sa kanya yan? It's a spiritual thing translated into the physical Satan, Lucifer, the devil hates the begotten son because he's the one and he was the one who took away what he robbed us of, which is the sonship and the kingship. That's why he hated Jesus Christ with a passion. Why do the devil hate me now with a passion? Because I am the inheritor of the sonship and the kingship. Kailan lalong nagalit si Lucifer sa akin? Noong sinabi kong, I am the owner of the world. Bakit nagalit siya? Kasi siyang owner of the world nung wala pa ako eh. Inagaw niya yan sa ating unang magulang. Ngayon, dumating si Jesus Christ, kinuha sa kanyang sonship and kingship at ibibigay doon sa magtatagumpay. Eh nagkataong ako'y nagtagumpay isa sa mga tinawag sa huling araw. So, binigay sa akin ang kapangyarihan na maging appointed son na tagapagmana ng lahat ng bagay. Revelation 21.7 Ang magtatagumpay, magmamana sa lahat ng bagay. Sonship and kingship. Ako'y kanyang magiging Diyos at siya aking magiging anak. Kaya anak ako sa Espiritu siya ng Diyos ko, hindi na yung kaloban ko ang sinusunod ko. Yun ang mensaheng tinatago ni Satanas. Kaya galit din siya sa akin. Kung maaari lang, hampasin niya ako ng ganyan. Hindi eh. na maaari kasi takot sa gwardiya siguro. There is joy in my heart. There is peace and there is love. Those are the fruits of the Spirit. That's joy and speakable. Pagka ni katawa mong wa ni uyo gayon yung tiyan o gabaga, dili joy na. Praise the Father. That is my food. That's my food. Oh, that should be your food also. So when the wind, the storms, and the floods come and beset you, you have a backup, the Word of God. 
which is in you. Yun ang baka, pero wala ka. Huwag ka kami muray sana. It's not your life. Pagabot. Ah. Walay katubag. Walay katubag sa hangin, walay katubag sa bagyo, walay katubag sa baha. Wala. Lagpak. Hmm. That's very simple analogy of the flesh or on the physical and the spiritual. Eat more of the word. Ayaw mo adto nga dili mo kami mo rise God of God. O kaya mensahe sa anak. Patulog mo, pagbutang mo cellphone diri. Ay mo tanawa ng kanuning Facebook, YouTube, ayaw. Madaot ang iyong espirituan. Maunay mo, tatak ninyo. Kung strong na mo, okay na, pre, ng mga boa. At lawad lang gatubang na computer. Pero, father's business ang ilang gatubang. O. Oh. Pero kamong wala yung mga katungdanan. Tagtuloy niyong cellphone. Ano sa may meaning? Why? Wala kay father's business, dito kay engage. Tuloy mong cellphone. What for? Ah, isa para sa Twitter. Ah, isa para sa Facebook. Ah, isa para sa YouTube. <laughs> Ikaw pa, para lang ni Spurno. So sa iyo, good, these last days, we should walk that disciplined way. We should walk that way of the Father. So, I as the shepherd of the flock, when I saw and when I see my flock going out of the way, as the shepherd, I have this rod in my hand to discipline you or, or not discipline you, to correct you. Don't go there. Go this way. Many do not receive that correction. Instead of receiving it, sometimes they go against me. Sometimes they make stories about me and then they backslide because they don't want correction. If you don't want correction, don't go to heaven. Because those that go to heaven are not only corrected, they are instructed and they are disciplined and they are chastised many times. Because that is the way of the Father in Hebrews chapter 12. If He receives you as a son and a daughter, you have a spiritual chastisement. You have correction that sometimes are painful. The undisciplined ones who comes here and then wants to go to heaven with their cell phone intact and they don't even know how to use them. Please don't come here. Among mga maduha-duha, ayaw na mo diri. Pagka mo, one time nagduha-duha mo sa kuma, panggawas na mo. Ayaw na mo pagduha-duha. Magduha-duha gani ka, isagad na. Ayun ang hap-hap, sagad. Mga lagad po ka, sagad po. Para di ka mahulog nga, dilibog na o diliinit, nakalas tunga-tunga. Eh, na. So, dalego na mamahan. Uh, sa itong uh, mensahe ka ron. Uh, so, we are one body in spiritual harmony. Uh, ang unang message nga ako na daw at strive to rhyme for unity. We are all united into one. So that's why the kingdom, there's no argument, there's no misunderstanding, there's no fruits of the flesh here. Nga magawayaway ta, magbinahinay ta, magtinudluay ta, tanawa, manigi-introduce sa itong mga yawa, nga gisudlag yawa, nga nanggawas diri, para magkabahin-bahin ta, maginawayay ta, and then they make they make uh, an, uh, an issue out of your sacrifice. They make an issue out of your... Wala ka ni nagreklamo, sila nagreklamo, sila nang abogado. Sa so sacrifice. Uy, luoy kayo ka. Nag-sacrifice ka. Uy, luoy kayo ka. Nabi tayo na ingnan nilang o saka anak sa mahan. Uy, luoy kayo ka. Lawad law. Ingon to nga itong isa kay Son nga loyal kayo. Luoy. Huwag ganit kong naluwi sa akong kaugaling, ikaw pa. Nga naman, gusto niyo mo kung ano akong simpatya, no? 
Gusto niyo mo kung na akong simpatya para musuuban ko niyo mo para mabatok ta sa anak, no? Maunay mo misyon, no? Naulawan lagi siya. Tsya dili lang ko mo sacrifice. Maghalad pa ko sa akong kinabuhi. Oh. Na mawag simpatya. Ano mawag simpatya? Kaya nasina. Nasina. Kasina. Kung nasina ka sa ubang nag-sacrifice na nga naghalad sa tanang kinabuhi nila, ayaw pang abogado kay wa, hilaki kuha ka nga may mukhang abogado para sa sacrifice. Nagpa-abogado, nagreklamo ba sila ni mo? O, inga na ang mga NPA eh. No, ato nila mga pobre, luoy kayo mo, uy. Ang gobyerno, pati nagpataba sa ilang mga kaugalingon. Kabutan, luoy kayo mo. On one way, tinuod mana Pero ang simpatya, gikuha para mailaha, unya, mumatok. Maghimo o gilaha, tapos ilang nang i-divide ang lawas. Sa kingdom, wala yung hana. There's nothing in the kingdom of that sort. Dere, kung ikaw nagareklamo o diskontento ka, isa rito bagsay mo. 1 Corinthians 12. Pangita a asa ka dapit sa lawas. Kaya isa rito ka lawas, di ba? We are one body, one harmony, di ba? So where are you in the body? What part are you in the body? Basahin natin yung Tagalog. Kung saan ka, dalunggan? Kanang kusog maminaw, dalunggan na. Ang kusog maniid, mata na. Ang dili kasimhot na sinus na. <laughs> Ang kusog mukhaon, ba ba. Kamot. Sa trabaho sa kamot. O, oh, dili matrabaho sa tiil. Ang trabaho sa tiil, dili matrabaho sa kamot. Baligtara na kung di ba maglisod ka. Kung diskontento ka, kay sige kang lakaw, ang kamot wala. Sige, baligtara, ang kamot may palakwa. Tanaw na itong kalahutay ka mag duha katikang. Kinsa yung maglisod, ang lawas o gangulo. Di ba? Kaya baligtad naman na. Di naman na pwede. So, kung ikaw diskontento ka, find your place in the body where you are. And where you have been assigned into the body, be contented and do your part. Hmm. Nasawa na ito na sa Tagalog. Eh? Let's read that in our language. So, si Pastor, Sapagkat kung paanong ang katawan ay iisa at mayroong maraming mga sangkap at ang lahat ng mga sangkap ng katawan, bagamat marami ay iisang katawan, gayon din naman si Kristo. Sapagkat sa isang espiritu ay binabautismuhan tayong lahat sa isang katawan, maging tayo'y hudyo o griego, maging mga alipin o mga laya, at tayong lahat ay pinainom sa isang espiritu. Sapagkat ang katawan ay hindi iisang sangkap, kundi marami. Kung sasabihin ng paa, sapagkat hindi ako kamay, ay hindi ako sa katawan. Mm. Hindi nga dahil dito'y hindi sa katawan. Mm. At kung sasabihin ng tenga, sapagkat hindi ako mata, ay hindi ako sa katawan. Hindi nga dahil dito'y hindi sa katawan. Kung ang buong katawan ay pawang mata, Saan naroroon ang pakinig? Kung ang lahat ay pawang pakinig, saan naroroon ang pangamoy? Datapwat ngayoy inilagay ng Diyos ang bawat isa sa mga sangkap ng katawan ayon sa kanyang minagaling. Sino naglagay sa mga sangkap sa katawan? Ang ating Diyos. Datapwat ngayoy inilagay ng Diyos ang bawat isa sa mga sangkap ng katawan Ayon sa kanyang minagaling, kaya pag pumunta ka rito, siya ang naglagay kung saan ka banda. 
Okay, huwag ka na magreklamo. Gawin mo na ang parte mo. At kung ang lahat ngay pawang isang sangkap, sana roon ang katawan. Alimbawa, ipalabin mo, kamot, nagbahin-bahin mo. Kay dili kamot, magdumot ka sa tiil, nagdinom tanay ang tiilong kamot, kay gusto ni mo, kamot lang tanan. Nakakita na mo, naglakaw puro kamot. Kasang lawas. Di ba? O kaya, puro tiil. Kay gipalabi ang tiil. Nag-rebuild yung tiil eh. Gusto niya, puros lang tiil tanan. Mapareho sa iyang rebuild eh. Kaya kita mo, binuhat nga puro tiil. O. Oh. Kung ang mata nagreklamo, kaya gusto niya, puro mata na lang tanan. Kakita na mo, binuhat nga puro mata. Pinya. <laughs> Tayo. data po at maraming mga sangkap nga ngunit iisa ang katawan kaya minagaling ng Diyos kung saan ka inilagay doon ka so walang away sa king harian in the kingdom there's no fight there's no division we are all one and we were it's assigned into our own area where you are right now that is your area that the father has sent you as part of the body. We have many parts of the body but different functions. The eye cannot do what the ear can do. Or the mouth cannot do what the nose can do. Oh, but they need each other. Oh, kung nagselos ang mata, sa baba, kung sigang kagkaoglitson, halami kay mong pamino. Pati laubi. Patilawa daw ang imong mata og litson kung lami ba. <laughs> Kay dili na niya trabaho. Trabaho sa mata mo tan-aw. O di may ibog ang baba, patanaw ta be. O ibutang imong mata sa imong baba kung di ba guwapo ka tanawon. Mo kag tabili ana. <laughs> Praise the Father. Do you understand, my brothers and sisters? Amen. We are all one. This is a disciplined body that walks as one into the straight, narrow path and enter into the straight gate with the information put in our brain and the memory in our spirit. We walk as spiritual beings. Spiritual people data ana ang composition sa atong lawas. So, bisa nun sa'yo mo hapak na ito, nagkausat ang tanan. Walay nagbahin-bahin. If there are malicious cells in the body, they should be taken out by operation. Kung doon ay mga nakihalo-halo na ito, nakipaghalo sa atin, pagkatapos, Iba ang adhikain at iba ang sinasabi. Cancer yan, tumor yan. Parte nga ng katawan pero nakakasira. That's why the Lord said, If your feet or foot offend you, cut it off. If your eye offend you, pluck it out. It's better for you to enter into heaven with one leg, one eye, than go to heaven with all parts. Makatakod. That's why in the kingdom, we see in these last days, since 2018, the Father made an operation. It is called purification and cleansing of the kingdom nation. Body, spiritual body of believers, of sons and daughters. Thank the Father. All of this happened and we see the blessings the kingdom has never been stronger than ever before. The kingdom has never been healthier than ever before. The kingdom has never been united than ever before. Now, it happened. We are more united. We are more organized. We are more stronger. We are more healthy. 
And we are more decisive. And we are more spiritual. And we are more united into one body. With one spirit. And one purpose. 1 Corinthians 1.10 This is what it says. Tagalog. Sa Tagalog po, Pastor. Ngayon ipinamamanhi ko sa inyo, mga kapatid, sa pamamagitan ng pangalan ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, na kayong lahat ay mangagsalita ng isa lamang bagay. Mm. At huwag magkaroon sa inyo ng mga pagkakabahabahagi, mm. kundi kayo'y mga lubos sa isa lamang pag-iisip at isa lamang paghatol. Mm. English. Verse 10, 1 Corinthians. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing. Speak the same thing. And that there be no divisions there among you. There be no you, divisions among us. But that ye be perfectly joined together. Perfectly joined together as one body with different parts, but each one different functions and doing that function for the benefit of the body. Okay. Perfectly joined together in the same mind. The and same the mind. Same. The same mind. The and same mind. Perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. We are all one in this. Look at the anatomy of the body. One head, all parts of the body with different functions, but the instructions come from the head. And the memory goes to you. That's why when you become a soul winner, it's me who gave you the information, but it's you who will give the memory to others. Mahal ng mutuo pa sila sa inyo, ha? Kung inyo silang malmalon sa mga pulong sa Diyos. Mahal ng ang member, dali mutuo kung imo siyang dauton. Sulay Ragod, na yung mga bagong member, bisa nakadungo na nasa kumagdugay na, even though they have listened to me for so long. Kaya ang memory, ang, ang information na sa imong utok, baligtara na, pagkatapos imo siyang sukahan sa mga pandaot, kundi ba madaot yung kalag, di ba? Bisang kabalo siyang ako, kung iya kong sundon, maluwas siya. Pero kung ikaw, ang nangunay sa iya, ang memory ni mo, naa sa imuha, imo'y transfer sa iya, mas mutuo siya sa imuha. Mabit ang daghang nangalaglag, nga nituo sa uban, bisan na kailan na sila sa kuha. That is how powerful that memory is in the body. So you must use that positively to become a soul winner, to build up the souls according to the doctrine that we have coming from the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why every kingdom citizen must memorize the A to C of salvation. You know, the A to C of salvation. The storyline of salvation. The seal of God. Prayer. Fulfillment. Prayer fulfillment. You have to memorize that and many more until they become incorporated sa imuha and then they become your life. Automatic na na. Pagkabot sa mga pagsulay, wala na na sa imuha. You will be an overcomer. And as an overcomer, your names are written in the book of life. We are all together in this, my brothers and sisters. And I thank the Almighty Father for all of this will not be made possible without Him leading us on the way. We thank Him for every bit of our lives is dedicated to follow His will. Every bit of our lives are dedicated, loyally dedicated and committed, obedient to do the Father's will only in the last days. This is the kingdom doctrine. This is the straight, narrow path. And this is the straight gate going to heaven. Remember, every kingdom citizen 
in the kingdom highway are living a disciplined life. Don't get out of that disciplined life. Don't get out of the way of that straight narrow path to enter into the straight gate to heaven. Huwag kayong alis sa daang matuwid. Huwag kayong alis sa isang disiplinadong buhay. Pag ikaw kumula, hindi na disiplinado yung buhay mo. Ang disiplin nagtawag sa iyo. Nasa maluwang na daan ka na. Tandaan ninyo yan, mga kapatid. At salamat sa dakilang ama sa mga salita niya ngayon. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So, pasalamatan natin siya. Let's all stand together and uh, give Him praise and glory as uh, I sing this song today. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.
but in you if I Almighty Father, thank you for this day today that we have dedicated for your glory, for your honor. And our hearts are full of thanksgiving for all of these years that you have anointed your appointed son. 48 years to be exact in letting me walk the straight path, the narrow way and lead the flock of God chosen by your spirit to walk and follow the way as your son appointed in these last days your finished product, your model that all through these years Father through your guidance we are here we have become what we have become as sons and daughters because of you without you father nothing in this world is of any importance without you father everything that we do is in vain without you father we will never know the path of obedience the path of commitment the path of dedication the path of loyalty to do your words and to obey and fulfill them because you have given us this eternal importance of going to the cross for our salvation and restoration that's why we are here today 
we will give you the same love that you have showed that you have delivered and that you have presented on the cross of Calvary we are here once again to offer our lives body soul and spirit to do your perfect will no matter what you don't have to worry about us father because we are here to fulfill your mandate spiritual mandate to be able to export this spiritual revolution to all the world the changing of the spirit within from disobedience to your will to obedience to your perfect will we are here and we are so thankful and glad that this restoration phase of the kingdom gospel ministry have already been fulfilled and the testament of that are the KLCs, the sentinels of light that are found all over the globe in many many countries of the world who have become like what you have desired for them making your appointed son as the example, as the model, as the finished product. Now, they are here. I am presenting them to you, Father. They are yours. They are your children. They are your sons. They are your daughters who will obey you no matter what. Thank you, Father, that I have come back here so that the kingdom nation that you have entrusted unto me will be presented back to you with all the fruits that you have desired in fulfillment of John 158 herein is my father glorified that you bear much fruit so shall you be my disciples John 15 16 you have not chosen me but I've chosen and ordained you so that you may go bring forth fruit and that your fruit shall remain whatsoever you shall ask of my father he sh he may give it to you these are all the fulfillment of that father here are the fruits of the labor of your children headed by your appointed son willing dedicated committed loyal obedient repented only to do and obey and fulfill your will and your words in this world today i give you back the glory the honor and the praise and i also pray for the every needs today brothers and sisters whatever it is that you have asked the lord for by faith take it you have already been answered your prayers have already been answered. Go in peace. Go with the blessings of the Father. Go with His protection and go with His guidance. Thank you, Father. For all those who have sympathized with this ministry, all the sympathizers, newcomers, new converts, those that loves this ministry, even if you are not a full-fledged member yet, but you love this ministry and you have loved the appointed son's ministry. May the Father bless you. May the Father guide you. And may the Father protect you and shower you with all of the blessings and fulfill the desires of your heart. For the detractors of this ministry, for those that look at this ministry as your enemy of the soul, I forgive all of you. I grant forgiveness to all of you. May the Father enlighten your heart. May the Father touch your heart. May the Father touch your family. May the Father touch your conscience. May the Father touch your spirit. May the Father renew your mind so that you, will, you too will be enlightened. I pray that the Father will take the blindness out of your heart. I pray that the Father will take away the hate and the bitterness out of your heart. 
And I pray that the Father, as He showered His rain upon the just and the unjust, and He let His sun shine upon the righteous and the unrighteous, may He also grant you the blessings. May He also grant you the blessings of enlightenment. May He also grant you the grace of compassion and love to fill your hearts. Instead of hate and bitterness, instead of darkness, there should be light. I pray for all of you to become a perfect, perfect in the sight of the Father, to become sons and daughters. We will bless you, as He said, in His words. He doesn't only bless the just and the, the just, also the unjust. He reigns upon you also. I pray for the reign of enlightenment. I pray for the sun of righteousness to shine upon you. May your heart be full of compassion. May your heart be full of forgiveness. May your heart be full of love. May your heart be full of kindness. May your heart and your conscience receive the light and the enlightenment that comes from His Spirit. That's my prayer for all of you detractors, for all of you persecutors, and for all of you who are walking in the darkness of bitterness and hate. The Father, I pray, may He enlighten you. Thank you, Father. I give you back the glory. The honor and the praise in your precious almighty name, our Lord Jesus Christ, to you be the glory forever. Amen and amen. Praise the Father Almighty.